frame the positive angle. How can you position what you want to say so that people accept your message in a positive light? Consider this situation. As part of a licensing agreement, users receive telephone support by calling an 800 number. The reps spend hours researching the answers, but there's no record of their answers. So there's a lot of duplication of effort and a backlog of customer calls and complaints. The manager's goal in that situation was to have the reps record their answers and then send him a copy so he could put the answers into a big online database. But to his surprise at his efforts to make their job easier, the reps refused to cooperate. When I heard the story, I could understand their response. Here was the manager's negative approach in his email. As you know, we are legally obligated to provide a four-hour response on customer calls. Currently, we're backlogged and making little or no progress. Complaints continue to grow, blah, blah, blah. No wonder he got a negative response. Consider his second attempt, a more positive wording. Reps, how would you like to have the researched answers to customer calls at your fingertips? Well, help is on the way. For the next 30 days, I'm asking you simply to record and forward to me a copy of your research customer answers, blah, blah, blah. This positive approach generated a much better response from the customer support staff. Consider the difference in this comment. I can't have the papers signed until Friday versus I can have the papers signed by Friday. Tell your spouse, your kids, your colleagues what you can do, not what you can't do. The positive angle takes a little thought, but the results are well worth the effort. This is Diana Boer encouraging you to communicate with confidence.